Hey everyone, Ilda here from I Love Doing All Things Crafty and welcome back to another one of my process videos. Today I have a few cards to share with you featuring honeybee stamps that I made for a couple of friends that just turned 40. Initially I had created the blue card but I loved it so much that I had to recreate it for you guys and share with you how I put it all together. Here is a close up of the card that I will be creating for you today. For more information on the supplies I used in this video, check out the links below in the video description. For more inspiration using these stamps, make sure you stop by the Honey Bee Stamps blog. So the first thing I'm doing is stamping my images onto some Nina Solar White cardstock. The ink I'm using to stamp my images is VersaFine Black Onyx ink. Probably not the best ink to stamp with since I'll be using alcohol markers, but I made sure that the ink was very dry before I moved on and colored them in. On screen right now you'll see me creating a little mask for the little scroll inside the bottle as I would like to just stamp out the bottle image. And since I want more than just one bottle I'll repeat this step a couple times. To color my images in today, I'm using some Spectrum Noir alcohol-based markers. I think they're perfect for a beginner like me, and um, for something simple like this, these are just perfect. Now that my images are all colored in, I'm going to do some die cutting. For those images that I have coordinating dies for, I will just use the dies, and for the rest, I will just do some fussy cutting. For any of the images that do not have any of the white space, I'm just gonna use a black marker and finish off the edge of the cutout, and then they'll be ready to glue in place. To make it look like the bunny was holding up the flag, I'm just going to use a uh, pen blade and create a little slit underneath the bunny's arm. And then I'm just going to slide the stick part through the little slit. To 
create the background scene for my front panel, I'm just going to use the mat from the Blah Bunny stamp set and I'll use that as my starting point for building the rest of the background scene. I just want to point out that my coloring isn't perfect, but I did my best to hide the imperfections when I was putting this card together. There's a little bit of a bad edge on one of the bottles, and then there's a little bit of a black spot. So when I'm putting it together, I'm doing my best to uh, conceal these little errors. After all, these are handmade cards, so they won't be perfect. Before I add any more detail to the front panel, I want to stamp out my sentiment. I only want the more from the more coffee please sentiment, so I'm easily able to stamp it out just by lining it up to the edge of the pad. Since I didn't have any balloon stamps in my collection, I thought I would improvise by using the sun stencil from the outdoor scene builder stencil set. To color in the balloon images, I'm just going to use some shades of pink and red Distress, Distress Oxide inks. And then I'm going to use a fine tip pen or a sharpie and um, just use the circle stencil as a guide and outline the edge of the balloon to make it look like it was a stamped image and this way it'll coordinate with the rest of the scene. And that's pretty much it for this card, just adding some last details to the image. 
And here is a close-up of all the sparkle and shine and highlights. I hope you've enjoyed today's process video featuring these cute images from Honeybee Stamps. For more information and still photos of these cards today, check out the link below in the video description um, where I will post directly to my blog. And for more inspiration using these stamps, make sure you stop by the Honeybee Stamps blog. Thank you all for watching, liking, thumbs upping, subscribing, and especially for all the wonderful comments that I receive. They are truly heartwarming and humbling. So until next time, everyone, happy crafting. Bye.